I'm ready. Let's do this. What is up, my breaking family? Send in some positive vibes in your direction. And as promised for today's video, we are opening up this huge 14 pound box that is filled with someone's old Pokemon card collection that I won in an auction, and I don't mean eBay. So I was looking around the internet for some Pokemon stuff and I stumbled across an auction house located in North Carolina and one of their auctions just happened to be someone's old Pokemon card collection. And I thought, I have to own this. And here's the thing. I don't really know what's inside of it. Now, don't get me wrong, they had a few pictures on there of the listing, but mostly I was going into this not knowing what I was getting. All right, this is getting heavy. Ugh. I actually enjoy collecting people's old Pokemon card binders. I could care less what the value of the cards are inside the binder. I just love the nostalgia behind it, and I love that this used to be so important to somebody. I enjoy seeing how people lay out their binder, what kind of cards they collected. That right there is important to me, and it holds a spot in time. I leave them exactly how they are and exactly how they laid them out. I say let's not wait any longer and open up this huge 14 pound box. Let's go ahead and get started. Now remember, I don't really know what all is inside of this box. I spent about a hundred and no, $208 after taxes or $209 after taxes and then about $30 shipping as well. It's a big risk, but who cares? We're about to enjoy it right now. Now remember, this used to be someone's Pokemon card collection, and you will see why uh, when you see these binders, because they are decorated. All right, let's go ahead and get this open. I think I'm gonna switch to the downward facing camera. So I'm gonna go ahead and set this down right here. I'm gonna pick up my phone, and here we go. Let's go ahead and look inside of this. All right, packaged very, very nicely. I appreciate that. Oh, yes, there's, there's even some cards over here too. Okay, so here, here is one binder right here. Cards inside of it, nice, nice. We're gonna go through every single bit of this box. So we have one binder right here. It's just a regular plain binder. Then the next one, like I said, you can tell this used to be someone's Pokemon card collection. And I'm leaving it exactly how it is because that's what I love. I love capturing that moment in time when this meant so much to somebody. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. So remember, I spent about two, um, 200 and what, $40? Whoa, okay, okay. Wow, okay, I wanna set this right over here. Sorry if the mic was shaking around, I was trying to get the table to stop there. Now, like I said, this was from an auction house in uh, North Carolina, just randomly somewhere that I discovered uh, on the internet when I'm searching for Pokemon stuff. Uh, I stumbled across it and I was like, yeah, I'm totally gonna bid on this. Oh, oh my goodness, this binder right here. This is a classic, classic Pokemon binder. Oh, look at the sticker on it too. What is that? Movie gallery. I don't know if I ever had movie gallery locations uh, in Indiana. Interesting, okay. Oh, oh, breaking family. I think we have hit the jackpot. Oh my goodness. I didn't realize there were so many binders. The next one. Movie Gallery, once again, if you remember Movie Gallery, let me know. If I, oh, and it was on clearance too. I'm leaving all that on there. That is a moment captured. Zapdos, Chansey, Dragonair. Oh my goodness. I am freaking out right now, Breaking Family. There is first edition Machamp right down there. Obviously not in the best of condition, but who cares? I love it because these cards were loved. They were loved. We have a random bag of Pokemon cards. Okay. I don't want to end up spilling them out, so I'm gonna set that off to the side over here. And then our last binder. Let's flip this around. Oh yes, yes. You can see right there. That's the uh, that's the auction sticker right on that. Look at that. All of those stickers right on the binder. We got Dragonite, Lapras, Zapdos right there in the middle. And, oh my goodness, it's just nonstop hollow rares. We got Flareon right there. 
Oh, I, I legit, breaking family, I legit think I hit the jackpot right here. Okay, okay. What I'm going to do, breaking family, is I am going to go ahead and get my normal setup going, and we will take a closer look at all the cards inside of someone's old Pokemon card collection. All right, breaking family, let's go ahead and start off with this binder right here, the one with all the stickers all over it. Let's look at the back of it. Okay, nothing on the back. So we do have the stickers on the front. Nice Rattata sticker. Maybe they were a huge Rattata fan. Who knows? Ah, oh, yes. Okay, so let's look at all the cards inside of it. Uh, very first page has four cards on it. We do have that Hollow Rare Electrode from Jungle. Oh, oh, there's two of them in there. There's two of them in there. And there's actually, no, those are actually in really good condition. Look at that. Pretty much like no scratches at all on the hollow print. Wow. These were in good condition. Nice. Okay, so there's two two hollow rare electrodes. Sorry if I if I freak out this entire video because this is so awesome. All right, we do have a Flareon from Jungle, which is also look at that. Condition is really really nice. So that uh, whoever owned this Pokémon card collection definitely looks like they took pretty good care of it. Uh, so that means it was very, very loved. And now we, Breaking Family, are going to appreciate it and love it as well. And it's going to continue making people happy. Mr. Mime. One of my favorite Mr. Mime cards because of the background right there. That is classic Mr. Mime from the Jungle series once again. We do have this Noctowl right here, which is a sticker. It's still able to be stuck on something. Okay, going to the next page, we have a Hollow Rare Scyther from Jungle. So it looks like a lot of these might be from the Jungle series. Once again, great condition. Background's really, really nice as well. Put that back in there. Vaporeon. I see Vaporeon's the next one right over here. I got to pull out this Vaporeon and check this. So we don't know if there's going to be doubles in a lot of these slots like the, the Electrode. So um, that's a that's going to be something that we are going to need to check. So we're going to have to check every single slot. Well, I guess maybe not every single slot. Uh, Vile Plume. Ooh, look, two Vile Plumes right there. See, in the exact same spot. Next, going to Wigglytuff. Wow. Okay. Two wiggly tubs right there. There's like doubles of everything. Clefable is the next one. Don't forget that Clefable is a rare. So two of those going on to a non-hollow electrode. Two of those as well. Like I said, I spent about $240 after taxes and shipping. So this is incredible. This is absolutely incredible. Uh, two Flareons right there. Um, what about Jolteon? One Jolteon. We have a Pidgeot right over there. A Snorlax. A Scyther and Pinsir. So this is all rares. Okay, I see it. I need Arena, so obviously not all rares now. Of course, right as I say that. Uh, there is Gloom. Uh, Venomoth. Victory Bell. Butterfree right down there. Still my favorite Butterfree artwork. Firo. Right down in the corner. I know it's a bird. I'm not going to make that bird fly. Wigglytuff, Dodrio, and Executor. There is nothing on the back of these pages. So just if you want to take a quick look back, nothing on the back of them. We have uh, Gloom, Lickitung, Marowak, Nidorina, Parasect, Persian, Primeape, Rhydon, Rapidash, uh, seeking. So it looks like, see, this is what I'm talking about. How people lay out their binder. So all the rares were in the front or are they, well, wait a minute. They're actually laid out by the number, by the set number. Yeah. They're laid out by the set number. So look, 53, 54, uh, 52 is right back there. 51. So they laid them out in the set number order. Yes, I love that. See, this is what I'm talking about, how people lay out their binders and just their vision of a Pokemon card binder is just phenomenal. It fascinates me. That's why I like collecting people's old Pokemon card binders filled with Pokemon cards because it's just, it's fascinating how people view something. Look at that. And then a Pokeball right in the very back. Okay, let's go to the next binder. I do like that one with all the stickers on it. Let's go to the next binder. 
which is going to be this one right here with that sticker on it. Look at that. Movie Gallery $9.99, but it was clearance as well. So I wonder what the end price was after uh, after all said and done. There is the back of it right there. Nice Pokedex. That's a classic Pokemon binder right there. It does have a small rip in the side of it, but that's perfectly okay. So going into this one, we do see some base set right here. We see Alakazam right up in the corner. We will make sure that we look for shadowless uh, Pokemon cards while we are in here. All right, Alakazam, nice. They are a little bit on the curved side right there, but that tends to be a little bit normal when something has been sitting in a binder for what looks like to be decades. Chansey. Whoa, two Chanseys. Nice. Nice. Let's see. That Chansey, not too bad condition. A little, a couple scratches here and there. Not too bad. Not too bad at all. Um, we have a Hitmonchan in the very bottom corner. I think, oh, two Hitmonchans. Very loved. That, that one right there is definitely very loved. And there is nothing wrong with that. Pokemon cards, they're to be enjoyed, right? Zapdos. How you doing, Zapdos? Just sitting right there in the binder. Um, I wonder if they were ordering them in set number order. I think they were, because Alakazam's number one, right? Alakazam is number one. So, right? Am I seeing that correctly? Yeah, Alakazam is number one. Sorry, I couldn't see very well on the camera there. Uh, my eyes. So, Alakazam is number one. So, what is Zapdos? Zapdos is number 16, so it probably goes on this page somewhere. Uh, Polyrath right here is number... 13, so 14, 15, 16, 17. So Zapdos should actually go right there. So I'm just going to leave that there for right now. We have Electabuzz up there. Oh, that's next page. Uh, Polyrath off to the side. Zapdos. Dragonair. We have Doug Trio. Electabuzz. I'm not seeing any Shadowless Pokemon cards so far. That's perfectly okay. Doesn't bother me. Uh, Farfetch'd right down there. And it's crazy to think, after all these years, now we have Surfetch'd. Jinx, Kadabra, Kakuna, Magikarp, yes! Where is that Magikarp squad at? Machoke and Magmar. I think there's a couple Magmars in there. Yeah, two Magmars in there. Uh, it's kind of, sometimes it's easy to see the doubles. Kadabra, two Kadabras in there. Kakuna, Nidorena, Poliwhirl, Porygon, Eradicate, Seal, Wartortle, Abra, Bulbasaur, and Caterpie. Going to the next page, we got Charmander, Diglett, Ghastly. It looks like they were trying to complete the collection, definitely. Uh, Machop, Magnemite, Metapod, right down there. I think we got a couple Ghastlies. No, just one Ghastly. Oh, there's a couple Diglets though. I do see that at the very top. A couple Diglets inside this binder. So right there, one, two, just two. Gotta love Diglet, right? Nidoran, Onyx, Pidgey, uh, Pikachu. There's a couple different Pikachus in there. We should probably check those. All right, all those Pikachus. I don't see any red cheek Pikachus and I don't see any shadowless Pikachus either. So put that back in there. Uh, Poliwag, Ponyta. Couple pony taws in there. Let's see. Yeah, a couple pony taws. Squirtle. Squirtle Squad. Where's the Squirtle Squad at? While I'm going through this binder, make sure you let me know in the comment section down below. Out of all of these cards that we look at today, which one is your absolute favorite? Which one brings back a lot of nostalgia? Even the binders themselves. Did any of you own these binders uh, when uh, when you collected Pokemon cards way back in the 90s, early 2000s? Uh, do you remember? Owning these binders, what store did you buy them from? I would love to hear a lot of your stories down in the comment section down below. I, I'm just so fascinated by people's Pokemon stories. Um, so I would be honored if you would share any of those with me. Or just even where you used to buy Pokemon cards. Full heal. This is a, a huge nostalgia trip for me. Uh, we got Revive down there. Professor Oak. We have a couple energies right here. They're just sitting in the binder. We have Bill... Potion, Gust of Wind, Double Colorless Energy, and more energies in the very, very back. And we do see that Pokeball pattern on the inside of the binder. So that right there is what is inside the Pokedex binder. And then that is what is on the side. I know it's huge and large on the screen, 
but that's what's on the side of the binder. Let's go into the next one, which is this, another nostalgia binder right here. You can see movie gallery. I still don't know what that is. So I'm trying to jog my memory and see if I can remember movie gallery. Okay, so the, the pattern on the inside is uh, pretty much the exact same. This appears to be a base set two binder. So you can see right there, the base set two logo. Wow, there's three of them. There's three of them in there. Okay, okay, so we got three base set two Blastoise. Uh, Chansey. Two base set two Chanseys. I, I, I'm floored by this. I'm absolutely floored right now, Breaking Family. All of this for, for, for after, after shipping and, and taxes, all of this for about $240, just randomly sitting at an auction house in North Carolina. Clefairy, two Clefairy, so there's been doubles of like everything. Gyarados right down here. Lonely, lonely Gyarados, only one base set to Gyarados. Going to the next page, we see Mewtwo, du triple Mewtwo. Look at that, triple Mewtwo right there. All of them base set two. So I love how all these binders, all these binders are separated out into sets. That's someone's vision right there. Nidoqueen, oh, nice Nidoqueen. Pidgeot right in the very, very middle. Still probably some of the best Pidgeot artwork. Whoa, okay. Okay, look at all that. One, two, three, four, five, six. Six Pidgeots, not too bad of condition. Wow. Wow. That is, those are actually really, really good condition. Look at the back of them right there. And see, I couldn't tell this. Looking at the pictures online, there was what? I think maybe around 10 pictures. And it was just uh, pictures of just like the binder opened like this. Um, you couldn't tell that there was doubles in all of these, or most of them. Uh, nine tails right down here. Only one nine tails. Going into Wiggly Tough over here. Double Wiggly Tough. Just when you think it's not Wiggly Tough, it is Wiggly Tough. And then B Drill over there. Dragonair, Doug Trio, Electabuzz, Electrode, Kangaskhan. Pidgeotto, Snorlax. I feel like there's double Snorlax, and there is. There's triple Snorlax. Put those back in the binder. Oh, okay, okay, so I think we're done with the hollows. Yes, because everything uh, appears to be in set order. So we got Dodrio, Executor, Growlithe, Jinx, um, Kadabra, Magikarp right there in the very middle. The most important, right? Magmar, Nidorina, Nido, uh, Nidorino, Marowak. This is a, this is a heavy binder right here. Parasect, Persian, Poliwhirl, Raticate, right on Seeking. Feel like I'm doing the Pokey Rap right now. Seal, Taurus, War Turtle. Even though it's not the Pokey Rap, I, I feel like I'm doing it, okay? Feel like I'm doing it. Weeping Bell. Bellsprout, Charmander, Caterpie, Bulbasaur, Cubone, Diglett Dig, Doduo. It's like, it's nonstop. This is a nonstop binder. Drowsy, <laughs> Execute, Ghastly, Jigglypuff right there in the very middle. I, I won't sing, I promise. I'll keep it to myself. I don't want to ruin this for any of you. Machop, Metapod, Meowth, and Magnemite. We got Onyx right there. We got Pikachu. Rattata. How many Pikachus are in there? I'm, I'm just curious. We got one, two, three, four. Four Pikachus right there in the binder. Sandshrew, Spiro, Squirtle, Voltorb, Vulpix, Starmie, Weedle, and then on to the trainer's last. Pokemon Breeder. I'm sure a lot of you remember those two cards right there. I mean, let's be honest. When we open those up, we always were upset that we pulled a trainer. Let's not lie, okay? <laughs> Even though they're nostalgic now, when we opened up the packs back then, we pulled a trainer and we're like, ugh, no, not a trainer, not a rare trainer. Uh, we got some energies. Don't lie. Don't lie. You know a lot of you are like that. 
And then energy's in the very back. Okay, so we got three binders down. We got three more binders to go, plus this bag right here. This bag of Pokemon cards, we have that to go to. So let's go into the next binder right here. It looks like they collected Japanese cards as well. So we got Pikachu, Rapidash right there. I don't know if there's gonna be any doubles in any of these. It'll be interesting to find out. Oh wow, okay, so these are stickers. You can see, just like we saw in that very first binder. Nice. We got a lot of the stickers on this page. This entire page is filled with stickers. Some of them, there's even doubles. So right down there, Gollum. Oh no, Jolteon, hey. Jolteon hiding in the very back. Now I'm kind of curious if there's other ones hiding in the back. I don't think so. I think that was the only one. Okay, going to the next one. Whoa, okay, there we go. We got, we got Psyduck right there, the best Pokemon in the entire world. And it is that Wizards of the Coast logo stamped Psyduck. Ah, that brings back some memories right there. Love that Psyduck. And we got Mew promo cards up here as well. Wow, okay, this one has a lot. Oh, just two. It feels like it was a lot. Two of the Mew. And, the, oh, I didn't even realize this. The War Turtle. The War Turtle Wizards of the Coast stamped. Two of them. Nice, nice, not too bad, Breaking Family. I don't even know if I owned that one when I was younger. Okay. And then we have... We have the trading cards right here. We have Topps Chrome. Let's see if I can, oh wow. This is definitely, that's in there. That is in there. Okay, let's see if we can get it out. We have a Weeping Bell. Nice, look at the Weeping Bell. Look at the Weeping Bell. There's the back of it right there. Um, there is some valuable, if you're looking at value as far as Topps goes, um, there is ones called Techno, I think it's called Techno Chrome. Um, and it will say on the back Techno, I believe. So we can take a look at these and see if any of them are uh, Techno. I don't believe they are, though. No, because it would say it, like, right there, I think. Nice Machamp. We got Kadabra right here. I guess we could just turn the page and look at the back of them. That'd be a lot easier, wouldn't it? All right, there's the back of Kadabra. And then we got more over on this side. Monster Rancher. Whoa, I remember Monster Rancher. What is that doing in here? I'll take it. Why not? Nostalgia, right? We see uh, Mankey. You can look at the back of those. Uh, bringing back some memories. If you want to pause the screen, read any of that, you're more than welcome to do so. Going into the next ones. Oh, okay. They're kind of like opposite direction. I think we might have to flip the binder around. Yeah. Oh, whoa, look at this. Jumbo Pikachu in the very back. Whoa. Not for play use. Look, Jumbo Pikachu in the back. I cannot, I didn't own one of these. And now I own one. I love, I love that it says that right there. Not for play use. I mean, it, it is, it is a little bit on the bent side. Let's, let's not, let's not kid ourselves, but still, that's awesome. That's still awesome. Right here, we do have, these are stickers, I believe. Uh, yes, these are stickers. Oh, 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 they're kind of stuck together and I don't want to rip them. Okay, there we go. There is a little bit of stuff on there. Uh, I think these are stickers, right? And the reason why I do believe that is because they came in, they came in Pop-Tart boxes. No, they came in uh, the, the, the Pokemon Rolls box. Just like this one right here. Yes, the Pokemon Rolls box. This is still sealed, unopened, and you can see right down there, there they are. That's why I said I think they're stickers because it says sticker right here, but these don't feel like stickers. If I don't, if I remember correctly, let's see. They might, I don't know. I don't know if they're stickers or not. I'm not trying to find out or anything. Let's go ahead and see what these are. Okay, I think just random cards in here. Yeah, random cards. Some of them are stickers. That one still has all the stickers on it. Um, that one still has the Charmander sticker. Let's see, is this, does this have an error in it? Yes, yes, right there. That's not Snubbull, that's not Snubbull. Yes, look at that. Buru, which is the Japanese name, I believe. I believe if I'm correct. Uh, that one's ripped up a little bit. Let's go ahead and put all of these back in here. Let's take a look at all of these cards. I'm gonna set my... Decades old fruit rolls right over here. 
Um, we have Dratini, Dragonair. We got the original, the original squad right there. Misty, Brock, and Ash. And then a bunch. I guess a bunch of more of the Topps trading cards. You can see the back of them right there. We still have two more binders. Are you kidding me right now? I'm going to go ahead and just flip these around. All right. There we go. You can see those just a little bit better. Oh, yeah. Sad, sad moment, right? Sad, sad moment. Um, going through it a little bit more. Someone was definitely, definitely into Pokemon. It'd be just interesting to just, like, interview the person who owned this old Pokemon card collection and just get their thoughts on it and maybe why they stopped collecting and, and I don't know. I, I would just love to hear it. Like I said, it's fascinating. Let's go to the next binder right here. Oh, okay. So, Fossil. We are into Fossil. We got Aerodactyl. This is a huge... Huge Pokemon card find right here, Breaking Family. Articuno, ditto. If you have not done so yet, make sure you hit that subscribe button right at the bottom of your screen. Become part of the Breaking Family. It's just an awesome, positive Pokemon community that we have here. And just we just have a good time. We just have a good time. We enjoy things like this, old and new. We enjoy the Pokemon world as a whole. So, Gengar... In the very, very middle, three Gengars. Look at that. Three Gengars from Fossil. We got Dragonite. What well, was my one of my favorite cards from, from the Fossil set? Wow, that's actually really nice condition as well. Look at that. Not bad at all. Haunter over here. Kabutops. Hitmonlee. Going to the next page, we have Lapras, Magneton, Moltres. Muck, Raichu, Zapdos, and then we get into the non hollow rares right down here. So Ditto, Articuno, Aerodactyl. It kind of starts over, repeats itself a little bit. Hypno right in the middle. Where's that Psyduck at? Where's the Psyduck? Zapdos once again up there. Golem. Oh, Slowbro, yes. Slowbro. Amistar. I'm a nice slowpoke. Ekans. Geodude. Shelter. There's Psyduck right there. How many Psyducks do we have? How many Psyducks do we got? Four Psyducks. Ah, yes, I love me some Psyduck. I don't see any first editions in here, which is perfectly okay. No big deal. Like I said, oh, wait, wait a minute. That Muck was first edition. I have to go back and look a little bit closer now. I thought they were all going to be non-first edition, but... There is a chance at some first editions in here. Um, I don't think I see any back here. Okay, that might have been the only one. Uh, there might be some behind all of those, but if we look behind every single spot, we would legit be here for probably probably a good couple hours. Slowpoke, Tentacool, Zubat. Recycle down there. That's some classic artwork, that recycle. Wow, okay. Set that binder right down there. We got another binder. <laughs> Let's open this one up. Oh, yes. Team Rocket. And I do see already off the bat, Dark Doug Trio First Edition. That is probably still my favorite Doug Trio artwork right there. Just coming up through the floor. Do you think insurance takes care of, takes care of that? Do you think insurance takes care of that? Probably not. Probably not. You have to have probably special Doug Trio insurance for that. Dark Blastoise, Dark Arbok, Dark Gyarados right down there. I just need to check these Gyaradoses for a minute here. All right, all right, nice, nice Gyarados. Some good artwork as well. All of this is Wizards of the Coast Pokemon cards, so uh, this is uh, definitely a, a trip, trip down memory lane. Dark Slowbro first edition and non first edition. Really good condition. And then going into the next one, Dark Magneton, Dark Machamp, Dark Vileplume, Rainbow Energy right down there. We got Dark... Oh, look at that. Dark Charizard. Nice. Look at that Dark Charizard. Whoo! Fantastic. 
Fantastic. Not first edition. No big deal at all. We got Dark Arbok. Golbat right there. Pidgeot. Okay. Wait, so this binder looks like it might have some other stuff in it because obviously base set two right there. We see Dark Flareon right down there. Dark Dragonair. Dark Golduck, yes. Kadabra, Muck, Persian. Persian's first edition too. Look at that. Rapidash, first edition as well. Uh, Primeape. First edition, Dark Wartortle, Magikarp. Porygon, Raticate, first edition. Nicklet Nick. Dratini, Drowsy. There is adorable, adorable Eevee. Machop, first edition, right in the middle. Magnemite, Oddish. Wow, okay. Ponyta, first edition Psyduck, yes. How many Psyducks do we have? We got three Psyducks, one of them first edition. The other one, other two, not. Rattata, Squirtle, Voltorb, Zubat. Um, full heal energy right there. Imposter Oaks Revenge. Nightly Garbage Run. Oh, Dark Raichu right in the very back. I wonder why that one's in the back. Hey, two of them. Nice. Put those back in the binder. And we still have one more thing left, Breaking Family. Sorry. I, I keep forgetting that there's actually like a camera on me as I'm looking at all of this stuff. I mean, I'm just so fascinated. Let's go ahead and look inside what is in the sack. I don't know why the cards are in the sack. That might have been something the auction house did. So let's go ahead and look at all of these. Now, if you enjoy seeing people's old Pokemon card collection binders that they didn't want anymore, make sure you hit that notification bell right at the bottom of your screen because, like I said, it is something that I like to collect and I like to keep them intact just the way they are and I don't mess with them. So it's just like a moment in time. If you want to see more of that, make sure you hit the notification bell, get notified whenever a new video goes up. I upload four to five times every single week and I definitely have some more um, old Pokemon card binders that we will be going through that people used to own. So... All right, so we do have Machamp right here. First edition Machamp, obviously. And another first edition Machamp, obviously first edition. Let's go through, I'm gonna set these stacks off to the side. Let's go through this one right here. Uh, we have Blaine's Vulpix. Oh, these are gonna be every which way. It's gonna be difficult on me. Misty's Duel, Brock's Sandshrew, Misty's Shelter, Brock's Graveler. We got Energies, Recall, Butterfree, which is a rare, Rhydon. Persian. Butterfree. Butterfree is a rare, right? No, it's an uncommon. I don't know why I thought it was a rare. Persian. Eevee. It just, Butterfree gives off that vibe. It seems like it should be a rare. Spiro. Bellsprout. Cubo. Meowth. Oddish. Jigglypuff. Vaporeon. Now that is a rare, definitely. And a Brox Onyx. Lickitung. Pikachu. I'm getting dizzy. I don't know about you right now. Jigglypuff, Krabby, Energy, Dodrio, Diglett, Sandshrew, more Sandshrew, my apologies if you're getting motion sickness right now, the boss's way, Goop, Goop gas attack, and a Diglett in that stack. Going over to the next one, we have a Cubone, base set two, Ponyta, Team Rocket. Wow. Dratini, Rattata, Drowsy. Like I said, make sure you let me know in the comment section down below what was your what was your favorite card out of everything that we just looked at. I mean, we looked at so many sets. Dark War Turtle, Ponyta. I'm all the time just searching around the internet um, and just unlikely places trying to find just interesting Pokemon stuff like this. Not even Pokemon card stuff, but just Pokemon stuff in general. I have a sealed box of fruit rolls. I mean, what year was this from? This was from, um, I don't know if a year, 1999. So as you can see, I'm, I'm just looking for weird things, interesting things, nostalgic things. Jigglypuff, Sleep, Psyduck, two Psyducks right in a row. Dark Raticate. We have a base set two Charmander, Nidoran, Execute, more energies, Mysterious Fossil. Venonat, oh, and I can even, that one has, uh, look at that wear on that one. 
Wow. Okay. And I, there's a there's a tape on it too. But it was a Wizards of the Coast stamped Psyduck. Ooh, the the smell. Ooh, just that like antique vintage smell. I know I'm weird. I can't help it, but you know what I'm talking about. Wow, it looks like someone some I I get it now. I understand. Someone tried to put these in a garage sale, I bet. Look at this. And they put tape on the cards. 25 cents is what that one says. 20, 20 cents, maybe? Oh, that's so interesting. Wow. So someone someone tried to sell their Pokemon card collection and they put they put masking tape on it. Wow, that's interesting. I find that interesting. I don't know about you. I know some of you are gonna be like, oh, it ruined the card. It's, it's a moment in time. It's a moment in time. You gotta appreciate it. Squirtle, Slowpoke, Machop. I'm gonna flip this around. First edition Abra right there. First edition Slowpoke. Drowsy. Love that drowsy artwork. Magnemite. First edition Psyduck. How you doing, Psyduck? First edition Ekans. Dark Arbok. First edition Oddish. Challenge. First edition Grimer. First edition again. More energies. We see Squirtle Squad right there. More Squirtle Squad, Dark Abra. Um, what else we got here? Dark War Turtle, Drowsy Dratini, Raticate Charmander. Always thought that was a very interesting and weird, but unique Charmander artwork. Abra, classic, classic Abra artwork. Zubat, Dark Muck Porygon in a shoebox. Psyduck, Ekans, Golbat, Eevee. Zubat, Dark Charmeleon, Oddish, Psyduck once again. Just a bunch of random, random Pokemon cards. Gust of Wind, Sandshrew, Butterfree, and Geodude. Breaking Family. This was absolutely insane. I mean, look at this. Four binders right here. Four binders, but there's two more sitting on the floor. Six Pokemon card binders right there. It is a moment in time captured Breaking Family. These once brought someone a lot of joy. They no longer wanted them, and they've probably just been sitting in a closet, maybe in an attic for a long period of time, and now they can be enjoyed again. And it's great that we could share this moment Breaking Family right here of looking at someone's old Pokemon card collection. I have no idea who this belonged to. Like I said, I won this in an auction randomly in North Carolina somewhere for about $240 and it was worth every penny of it. My Breaking Family, thank you so much for taking the time out of your busy schedule to come and hang out with this weird person right here. If today was a rough day for you, remember that tomorrow is a new day, a new day for you to wake up and give it your best. Don't forget, life is awesome and so are you. I love every single one of you amazing people and I will see all of you, all of you, in the next video. Do it with me now. Peace, love, and a high five.